Will here and today I'll be showing you how to customize an NPC and make it how you want it to look so it actually fits the style of your game so let's get into this first things first click on plugins and you won't have all of this stuff but you'll find something that it's called rig builder just click on that and then select any rig you want I'm gonna do block rig for the sake of this tutorial you can do r15 or r6 r15 just means it's more customizable right so we've got this little fella he's got dummy above his head okay i'll show you how to get rid of the gui in a sec first thing first let's get it a shirt click the plus next to him and click on shirt here it wants a shirt template so i'll show you how to get that open up any web browser then go on to Roblox. Go on to the avatar shop, your inventory, or into the group you want to get it from. I'm going to go into my group as, seeing as it is so-called Spooktober right now, um, I made some Halloween merch, so let's just show that off. Everything in my group is 8 Robux if you ever want to buy anything you see in the videos. So, sorry. Click on there, click it three times to copy it all. Control C. And then here, shirt template, Control V, paste it, hit enter. And as you can see, it's wearing the shirt. Now do the same for pants. So open up dummy, open up pants. You've got pants there. Wants a pants template. So let's go over to pants and let's go to the avatar shop as at the moment i do not have any pants let's just search up black um okay i guess we could use these ripped jeans so just do the same control c control v enter then there we go it's wearing it and then as you can see you can see some skin okay Click the plus on the dummy, click body cl colors, and as you can see, it's like this cool yellow. What you guys want to do here is there's head color and head color free. Obviously, it will change the color of the head. So you can do this one where you have those, or you can do this one where it's got a whole scale and you can put stuff in your custom colors. So I've already got some nice things here. They're not exactly for what. They're not exactly for skin tone, they're mainly for my GUIs. But all you need to do to save a new slot is click on it. It will have uh, some little dots around it. Find the color, click OK, and then it's saved. So I'm going to get green. OK, so as you can see, his green is... And as you can see, his head is lime green. Now, let's do the same for each. Also, there is a basic color section. And seeing as I'm just doing a lime green, it will be here. Right, so now it is green. Okay, so I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description down below. But you need to use a plugin called Load Catalog Items. It is by Art FVL. So here, when it's got the numbers, just click on it. Won't do anything yet. You need to come here, find what we want. So we're going to find a face right now because... That basic face isn't too great. Let's just search up body parts. And here we go. Let's give it a little scar face. However, here, you need to copy and paste the numbers. So double click inside of these two slashes where the numbers are. Control C. And then in here, just hit Control V. Insert. And in your workspace, it will have an asset as a model. Just ignore that part. Get the face out of here and put it into head. Then, as you can see, it's selected. Click this, click this. Then, delete. And it gets rid of the other two. There, now it's got the face that we want. Also, feel free to delete the model. It does nothing. Next thing we are going to do is get it a hat. So, get the plugin back up. Go to that catalog shop. Find your hat. Only copy and paste the numbers. So copy and paste. Insert. And it's it. We're going to grab it here and just put it into that one. 
it might take a while to load in but as you can see it did load in so there we go now we're gonna give it other accessories other than a hat it's the exact same thing just not on your head open up the plugin copy what you want paste it there insert take it out of the model put it into the other model delete that one close that off and there we go we've got a lovely halloween avatar however now we need to get rid of the name okay so there's two ways to do this i'm just going to be showing you the simplest one so where the name is hit backspace and hit enter there we go and now it doesn't display anything above its head if you want to know how to make it move around i have some tutorials on that just if you want to make it move around then i actually have some tutorials on that there are a few different ways and i've got you covered just have a look in the playlist that this is in it's called roblox you do tutorials and you will find them but until next time keep scripting keep developing keep learning bye guys